if your toilet wobbles every time you sit down or get up, um, that is not only annoying, that can also cause um, a leak. So uh, by that I mean as, as, it, as it wobbles back and forth, the wax seal that is under it can become, can be squashed down and become compressed and you can get a leak. Lose your seal between your toilet uh, and the floor. So you can have a leak there, your floor leaks, your wood rots, can be a problem. If your toilet is rocking, let me tell you how to stop it. So what I did was to buy a product called Johnny Shim. I searched on Amazon to find uh, some type of shim. I was just gonna buy just a regular uh, shim like he used on the back, those yellow ones back there in the back. But instead, I saw this product, saw all the comments about how quick, how easy, how painless it was to use this thing. And so I bought some Johnny Shims, and that's what that is there. And that's what that is there on the front side of the toilet. Those are the Johnny Shims. Um, they slide under it. They break off. They are uh, graduated in size. I, as you can see, I used the three. The first three are broken off right there. So I used one, two, three of them under my toilet. I still have the rest of them. These are for a higher, you really have a, a, a wide gap. The wider your gap, the more, you know, the, the, the wider the shim you're gonna put under it. So I only had to use, uh, I was only doing just the front side because he already had shim the back side. So all I did was use uh, one on one side and three, I mean, at least three here. On one Using side, a Johnny side. Shim, I loosened my toilet bolts just a little bit. Uh, that's the bolts on either side of the toilet. And tilted the toilet back just a little bit like this. I put the shim under it until it stopped. You want the lip of your toilet uh, even with about the middle, these little shims have kind of a saddle in it. Uh, they're kind of scooped right in the middle. And you want that lip to be on that scoop, on that saddle. And then you just break it off. It's, it's under there. It's tight. Just break it off. Like that. Tighten your... Um, Tighten your toilet back down, and you're done. And what it does is leave that under your toilet. As you as you sit down on it, you're, you're, the wobble, instead of a wobbling, it is coming down on the shim. As you can see, they graduate in size for whatever size crack you have. That is not a bathroom joke. That is a Johnny Shim fact. So if you, if the toilet is really wobbling if you've got a real wide gap at the at one side or another then you will you will push you'll push one of the larger I mean, you'll push it up in there until until it stops again they're graduated in size the gap I had was a smaller gap but yours may be larger and these again they just they just go in there and snap off. You may need to use a, um, you have to wobble it back and forth to snap it off, or you can use a utility knife to cut the little tabs right there. Each of these are joined with a tab. So that's the way to take the wobble out of your toilet forever. I am a big believer in Johnny. I will keep this package of Johnny Shims around and um, I'll leave them here in the bathroom. If it starts to rock again, that means I probably means I need a wider shim. Because I'm keeping the rest of the pack of the Johnny Shim, I'll have a another one I can push up under it and break it off. Man, couldn't be easier. Gotta try it. If your commode is wobbling, stop to wobble. Johnny Shim.